So, you bought Saints Row on release day. If you did buy the game on release day, then consider watching this video. And if you didn't, then consider watching this video. I can assure you that this video is not one-sided. The clips that you are about to see during this video are of my own showcasing gameplay of the PlayStation 4 version on a PlayStation 5. Thanks to my cousin who allowed me to borrow his console for the making of this video. And to further clarify, this video is or was not made to defend my opinion about this game and or series. After all, anyone and everyone is entitled to their own opinion. This is not a review, nor an analysis video. I am not here to showcase any bugs, glitches, or any sense of mediocrity. So, without further delay, let's get this shit started. So, like most of you out there, I was totally excited to play this new reboot in the Saints Row series. The leaks and promo images were enticing enough to keep me interested, while the fanbase in several forums were very unappealing to look at or read through. Fast forward to today, the game has been out for almost a month now, and... well, I guess most of you already know how that turned out. The amount of reviews and critical analysis videos of the reboot tore the company a new one, with all the bugs, crashes, glitches, and broken gameplay elements that most players faced on release day. And it did not really matter what console or device you were playing on. The damage was already done, and Volition were given an earful because of that. Several people were quick to judge Volition for their carelessness due to overpromising and under-delivering. A common action that has plagued the video game market since late 2017. Others claimed that the reboot felt completely unnecessary, calling it a waste of resources, and that Volition could have spent all that time remastering Saints Row 2 for next gen consoles. It's a bit harsh, but still, that is understandable. Most people were expecting a quality experience, and what they got was not up to their standards. Most of the Saints Row fanbase were divided on whether or not the reboot will feature full character customization. The first CG trailer featured a female boss instead of the usual male boss, which was commonly used in the previous CG Saints Row trailers. Volition was quick to point out via Twitter that the game will feature full-fledged character customization in addition to bringing back layered clothing, a fan-favorite feature from the first two Saints Row games. But come on, like, let's face it, it is not a Saints Row game without character customization. I mean, sure, the first game did not feature gender swapping like the later installments, but that really did not stop people from actually playing it. The final point that I want to discuss before ending this video is purchasing on release day. I'm sure that most people don't buy anything on the first day, and I highly respect that. Nowadays, buying something on the first day is like flipping a coin, which ends up falling in a pile of shit that you may or may not have stepped in. And again, buying games on release day in today's terms always means a day one patch is going to happen. It's going to be released to coincide with that game, and people don't like it, but it's kind of inevitable. So it comes down to this, should you buy and play Saints Row? I mean, it's really up to you whether or not you want to bite the bullet and play the game. Should you buy games on day one? Again, that is entirely up to you. I mean, <laughs> come on, hey, it's, it, it's, it's your money, it's your life. You're free to do whatever you want, so long as it's not illegal or frowned upon. And with that said, thank you for watching. This is not a typical video that I usually upload or make. I mean, based on my catalog, you can obviously see that I play mediocre unknown games for a living. And uh, yeah, I hope that whatever I said was very informative, and I'll see you in the next one.